Hi everybody, Amber here, and today is Ask the Coach Wednesday, and this is going to be a pretty short video, but we had a client ask us, what do you do, because we're eating at home so much now, when your dog has started to scavenge under your feet maybe while you're trying to eat, or, you know, hover around you when you're trying to eat, and I'm not sure, but maybe even stealing something from your plate. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about what we do in our house to prevent Relic from developing this terrible behavior. Particularly if you have little kids in the house, this can be bad because dogs know that little kids make easy targets. So hang tight and I'm going to show you what we do in our house to make sure that this doesn't happen. This is one of my dog's beds or place is what we call it. One of the most important commands that we teach and if you take any classic canine coach, you will teach this to your dog is the command of place. And the reason we teach it on the bed or on a mat is because the bed or the mat can be moved anywhere and the dog will know to go there and stay there. And so I've moved Relic's inside bed onto our deck and I'm gonna call her to place now and I want you to see what she does. Relic, come place. Good girl. Now obviously Relic is a little bit older and is well trained but this is the command you should be using when you're trying to keep your dog from being under your feet if you're eating, you're cooking, whatever you're doing. So let's talk a little bit how to enforce it if we already have a bad habit. Okay, so we've come in the house now and I just wanna show you, this is how this should work if you train this really, really well. Go place. Oh, such a good dog. Who's the best dog? Are you the best girl? Are you just the best girl ever? I'm going to move it somewhere else in the house. Go place. Oh, such a good girl. Now I want you to notice that this is actually near the table that we eat at in my kitchen. And so if I'm having a problem, which Relic will do this sometimes, getting under the table, waiting for scraps to fall from kiddos, I'll put the bed close. So I'm going to start with the place, then I'm going to bring the place to where we're eating, and I'm going to put it close to us so that she can stay on the place, but not too far, because if she gets up, I wanna make sure I put her back. So if we're sitting here at our table, doo -doo 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 -doo. hey, Relic, Relic, go to your place. I moved it, Goofy, it's over there. Go to your place. Oh, what a good dog. Lay down. Good, and now I can sit here and have my dinner and keep an eye on my puppy. So if you need to teach this command, we're happy to help you do it, but this is a lifesaver. I'm making a English pina ricotta ravioli with lobster. How's everybody doing? Uh oh. Raviolis definitely are a risk. There's the uh, seep out, there can be air pockets. So I can't really afford to mess it. Not in our home. But they are homemade. I'm not gonna have that right now. That is very hot. Are they good? I don't know. Hey everyone, so this is our kitchen table uh, where we eat most of our, you know, just casual meals. We have a formal dining room like most people, but really we don't eat in there very often. And we also have a bar in our kitchen that I am sitting at right now. So if you're having trouble with your dog scavenging, particularly little kids, or um, if you're sitting low, they come and like get around you really close. It's a really natural behavior, obviously, for dogs. So while you're working on the place command and keeping them away from your food, keep your food higher up. Keep your children at the bar, sit at the table, and then as the place command gets more concrete and the dog starts to understand the rules better, you can go maybe to a lower table if you wanna sit in front of your TV on your coffee table or whatever it is. So hopefully this will help. Um, if you have any questions, again, let us know. And every Wednesday we will answer your questions and every Friday we do a fun tip Friday. So I look forward to seeing everyone on Friday and we do our fun tip. Have a great weekend, everyone.